Welcome and good afternoon. It's high noon here in Colorado. This is Dr. Dew. I'm so glad you could join me on Say a Word About This. Today we're going to uh, attempt again to do a simulcast with YouTube and Blog Talk Radio. So the first segment will be more generalization and then we will get to sex in the Bible. We may even start some of it sooner, but uh, that's where we're headed as we do this series on sex in the Bible, uh, going through uh, almost page by page, looking at what's there. I'm excited for those of you, wherever you are, whatever kind of listener you are, to know that we are actually, uh, when I get off today off the radio, the internet radio with you, I'm going to be testing the EPUB for the new book. Teddy Bear, Stolen Innocence. And that, uh, as we test that, uh, hopefully today we'll finish it. And by this time next week, you'll be able to purchase a electronic version. That's the, the desire, the goal. We're also finishing the testing for the uh, formatting for the new book to get to the publisher. Everybody, everything is just moving along. And my thoughts are, my plan is to start putting little excerpts on Facebook and Twitter from the book. Little uh, little paragraph here. I don't even get a paragraph, but get a few words here and a few words there from uh, TBSI. Teddy Bear Stolen Innocence. As we launch this new book, and we're excited because we have uh, an invite to... Um, Nor uh, Nashville, Tennessee in November. So if you're in that Nashville area, we will be there. That's the goal. We have a tentative date for uh, going into Indianapolis in October, but we're just waiting to see if any of those details, how they get finalized. And then we have, I think, five conferences set up for next year already and just going to start doing these conferences around the country as the Lord would so bless us to uh, get them done. This uh, is program, say a word about this, Dr. Do, that's me. Uh, we're sponsored by Joy Christian Center, a non-denominational uh, Christian fellowship followers, actually, of, of Jesus Christ. So we look to be in the middle of the road. We're uh, not into bashing people. We're not into being dogmatic other than we believe the word and if you believe the word then you're in the right place but if you don't care for the word of God the Bible then you're probably in the wrong place and uh, that's unfortunate but again since we believe everything's by choice and he gave that right to us to make a choice as human beings when he created us then you have the right to be where you need to be and want to be I'm excited because finally we've been work, we worked on this book for quite a while and um, it's, uh, like I said, in the testing phases and finalization to see if we can make the EPUB, the ebook, uh, look pretty. And it will be on any uh, format that you happen to have because I know they have some all kind of, they got the wannabes and the would-bes and the whatever, but uh, you'll be able to get it on your iPad and your eye, whatever, all those different little new toys that people have, the nooks and the nookies and the whatever, you'll be able to uh, get that if you like at a big cost less and obviously you don't have to carry a big book around. What I So that's uh, the exciting news today. Uh, I, the other news obviously is this earthquake and since we're to be relevant, uh, you know, they're going to be folks having sex and there's going to be an earthquake. So, you know, and, and there probably was people yesterday right in the middle of whatever and there was an earthquake and I just want people to know we talked about that at Stensing Link last night uh, on our prayer with the prophets uh, gave the scriptures uh, Matthew Mark and Luke and the fact that uh, we're gonna have these earthquakes in diverse places and the people that were so startled on the East Coast <laughs> oh boy if that had been a little stronger one my mind but God is in the midst and uh, I guess I heard that my wife was saying the people in California, I guess, were kind of 
laughing at the people back east. Well, hey, we here in Colorado, I've been, I've, I'm from California. And when I got here and actually heard people, heard them mocking the people in California with earthquakes, I thought, isn't that something? How arrogant people can be. But since so many people don't really believe the Bible, then it didn't, it doesn't surprise me, just disappointed me in human behavior and human nature. But uh, the people in California now are getting their opportunity to um, kind of laugh at the people back east because California has earthquakes all the time. It's uh, a thing that uh, is an occurrence that is regular there. So, uh, and, and according to the, to the seism seism seismologists, uh, they ha are happening actually all over the earth. I mean, come on, let's face it. This earth is alive. And uh, thank God it is, because that's how God made it. That's why we have such beautiful trees and the water and just everything. And yet, even though people are saying, hey, things are dying, hey, but just know this, more earthquakes are coming. And they're going to come, and one version said, in divers' places. And then the version we were sharing yesterday in Luke, it just says, in places all over. So we're going to get these earthquakes and just be prepared for it. Those of you that are Christian and, have, and, and the, have, should have the peace that passes all understanding in your spirit, have no fear. We, we you don't walk in fear because this is not our home anyway. We're just here uh, passing through. And that's why we're talking about sex in the Bible because right now there's what six or eight billion people that weren't here. Uh, they were not here uh, some, uh, you know, uh, 100, 200, 300, 400 years, 5,000 years ago. We just get more and more. And so uh, just be prepared to know that you got more company coming and more friends going. It's a place of a, kind of a revolving door. You're, and I saw a thing yesterday, I think, or today, uh, someone that's 122 was going to tell uh, her secrets or his secrets on longevity. And so, hey, at least we can make it up to 120, 130, who knows. And think about it, back in the biblical time, way before that, they were living up to, well, 1,000 years, and then the Lord changed that to get it down a little less. So, hey, whatever time we have, let's enjoy it. Well, we have been dealing with uh, these issues, and you blog talk uh, people know that we've got some YouTubers that are watching, and you YouTubers, if you want to uh, hear all of what the blog talk radio people uh, get to hear, go to blog talk radio.com forward slash dr dash do dr do and um, you'll be able to uh, tune into the program uh, today if you like or you can always go back and hear some of the uh, prior programs that we have uh, actually done over the last several years. It's been, what, I think three years now that we've been on the air, and so we have just a number of things. Now, today, since we're doing this uh, blog talk radio uh, YouTube simulcast, uh, let's look at uh, some of the current events and just see what's really happening in the last 24 hours, what headlines we can find, because I tell you, the whole thing of abuse and sexual molestation and rape and incest and all of that isn't going to end real soon. It's been around ever since they got out of the garden and it will be here until, uh, until, until, you know, the devil is actually bound up and cast into the lake. So it's something we have to deal with and we might as well know. Uh, this whole thing about Slavery, not for sale, inhuman trafficking and slavery. That's an article that just came out nine hours ago. You know, masking sex trafficking as prostitution, trafficking children, recruitment, extraction. I was just told by someone uh, on Friday that they could actually, where they lived in the southern state, uh, actually get a 
child within 10 minutes uh, of putting their order in to one of these trafficking places and I find that so appalling that here they were halfway smart and this is really kind of a ding to them anyway what I'm saying to have done their trafficking their dirt in other countries openly as they've done and now they brought it to the shores of America well you and I both know they've been doing it here you know secretly anyway and now all this stuff is just getting exposed there's what's called the human trafficking project that was just posted uh, 12 hours ago it says please go to uh, let's see here called to rescue I like that called to rescue dot org and see how you can be a partner in fighting the crimes of child abuse you know on the uh, victimization and sexual trafficking on uh, Twitter a couple weeks ago they asked us to start posting these things uh, on Twitter and basically giving a uh, moment of time uh, so many of these twits as I guess we I call I meant tweets or twits or whatever they are so doing this um, every day or at, at least the time you're on and so uh, I think that's exciting that we can share uh, this kind of information and get this out so that others will know what is actually happening what's actually going on what is really the issue and uh, get people to to start to pay attention to this because it's real it's real it's um, it's a devastating thing you know and, and I, I suspect that some won't uh, really get it until something happens to them I, I just pray that that's not the case but some people don't really accept things because they say well it's not in my family nobody's doing that in my family you know and uh, but let me tell you this stuff is going on and it's real and it is going on across the globe this is a real deal it's not a, a situation of fantasy as some people would say no this is not a fantasy thing this is real and these children that are disappearing these young people that are disappearing these people that are disappearing they are uh, the real deal and they uh, need for us to look out and try to find them if we can you know uh, we've got to expose the traffickers expose the uh, people that are doing this just detestable work um, what I'm doing as we're talking I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this because what I'm going to do today is I'm going to be posting uh, on my Twitter as I'm talking to you uh, some tweets things that I'm, I'm finding that I'm reading to you as we continue to expose this whole area because the more of us that get into this and share oh my 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 see if we can get people exposing and confronting and dealing with this issue we will get it get you know it's going to shrink their world it's going to shrink the, the world of those people who are traffickers it's going to shrink the world of those people who are into human slavery here's another article human slavery and pornography uh, at home and abroad and it's going to basically cause them to hopefully have to shut their doors and cease and desist at least here you know we don't have a lot of control over what's happening in the rest of the world but we sure can I believe uh, do something about what's happening here in America and we can expose and confront this whole issue because I'm telling you it's a real issue and it's not an issue that should be taken lightly I believe we have an epidemic in America and the world 
I believe it's an, a serious epidemic. 